You have to start asking really difficult questions, like what does it mean to be a believer in this time? And I think that one of the things that becomes really, really blatantly clear is the importance of developing a sincere and authentic relationship with the divine that is not, is not predicated on anything happening politically out in the world, but is very much about a realization that I as a creature have an obligation to worship, to know, to love my creator, and to prepare myself for my meeting with my creator. So if we have to believe in Allah with our full heart and our soul, complete in our Iman, then we also have to speak the truth and fight against, uh, fight against injustice to anyone that we know or that we don't know, whether they be Muslim or not, Arab or not, black or white, whatever it is. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called the Prophet وسلم, to meet him on the famous journey Al Isra al Ma'raj. But even more amazing is the gift, the medication that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to the Prophet on his journey. He gave him a salah. He gave him prayer. You see, prayer, prayer wasn't just a random assignment. Prayer wasn't just the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, uh, okay, start praying now. Prayer was a medication. Prayer was a therapy. Prayer was a prescription from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help the Prophet Muhammad deal with the struggles and the disappointments and the trials of everyday life. We need numbers, uh, we need real number crunching to tell us what are the spaces that are friendly to women, how are they friendly to women, um, and how can we make recommendations to mosques and Muslim communities around the country and inshallah around the world to, to make the situation better for women. Our responsibility, every single one of us, when society permeates hate, we combat hate with love. The difficult times internally, within their family, within their community. But the questions that we have to ask ourselves, number one, where do we find our sources of peace and our sources of comfort? Do we find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a refuge, as a place of peace and as a place of comfort like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa did? Like the companions radiallahu anhum did? Prophet told the companions, renew your faith.